So today I'm gonna test the Red Komodo for the first time. I've been a Canon shooter for the longest time and my main camera is a Canon C200, but I thought it was time to transition into a cinema camera. And because Aries is so unaffordable, I thought a Red Komodo might be the way to go. And this is really the first time I'm trying out the camera. I didn't have all the components, so I was using the power straight from the wall, which is the cable that comes with the camera. And I was testing out also this Sheen 85 millimeter lens, which I thought would be really nice match with this cam. I'm not using any ND filters. Again, I don't have all the accessories for this camera, but I really wanted to see what this camera would look like straight out of the box. Obviously, these cameras are not really meant to be used straight out of the box. So together with the camera, I got a camera handle and a cage, which I thought would just help me. I really like shooting handheld, so I couldn't help myself, but at least give it a try and see what that would look like. Yes, I do need to properly learn the camera and I need to kind of dial in the settings and all those things. But I really just wanted to have a first impression, just a first look at what it would look like to just play with this camera for the first time. I thought it would be interesting to share this kind of Canon perspective into a RED camera. Straight out of the bat, very different system. RED has their own kind of thing and I think their settings and their formats are wildly different from Canon. This was literally a 20-30 minutes little test that I did. I didn't want to push it too hard because obviously I still learning the camera and I wanted to just honestly throw the footage in the computer and kind of compare what I was looking through the screen and what was in the computer and what I could do with that footage. This is a quick little comparison between what the footage kind of looks straight out of the camera. This is with a, like a natural Rec. 709 LUT and this is a little more stylized with something that I would personally use. The biggest surprise for me is the dynamic range and honestly how much you can push raw footage out of the RED. You can clearly tell that working with a RED camera is a wildly different beast. RED gives you the 